Welcome to Analytics with Nax. This is another video in the Catch Up with Nax series where I'm going to talk about Power BI releases on November and December. Of course, there is no updates related to Power BI on December 2024. All that we missed in November as well as some of the important updates that Power BI team has brought in that you should aware. That's what I'm going to cover as part of this video. With this note, let's begin. As usual, the features I like is like Copilot in mobile and subscription. A is real and A is um, everywhere. So Microsoft is not exception in that and they have brought a very good uh, Copilot um, A module in every other aspects or every other tool they have built in. So right now in the Power BI mobile app, they brought the Copilot. You can ask for a summary in the mobile app as well as while you are doing a subscription to your report uh, there also you can add your copilot summary visual calculations um, i have talked about the visual calculation i had a separate video on that basically if within the visual you can write a dax without writing a dax basically you can do the calculation that you can perform in a excel similar to excel what are the uh, drawbacks earlier there is no export data option in visual calculations right now they have come up with fixing it now after this november uh, release if you have then you can export the data which is having a, a visual having a visual calculation small multiples for a new car this is another super feature that i will go and show it uh, while i'm demonstrating in the page and textilizer tmdl format for semantic model so basically this is all about uh, version controlling once you do a version controlling there will be a very good comparison format once you save this one you can have a proper format over here uh, earlier there are different formats uh, we tried but the each has its own disadvantages finally this will solve all the problems that older versions have as I said, the one last thing about uh, Power BI Pro and PPU license, the cost is going to change. It is not a huge change, but based on uh, number of licenses you procure, the um, it will have a impact on your business budget. Let's try to understand all these things in this video. Before that, this channel contains a free content that covers MSBI, Power BI, fundamentals of Azure and SQL. Please utilize this free content, share this channel with your friends and colleagues. Let's go and check it out the November release. If you see uh, at the beginning, um, from the beginning we will start. There you go. Copilot for Power BI mobiles and summaries. As I said before, uh, in the mobile app, if you are familiar with mobile app, you have a copilot option here. You can ask for a summary, generate a summary or uncover more. Some AI features they have introduced. If you choose a summary, then it will give you a summary. You no need to uh, brainstorm and understand what is happening. Copilot will help you to understand it. And similar uh, summaries are available in the subscription. While doing a subscription, you can have the uh, similar feature in the subscription page as well that is copilot summary that is the uh, another important update then as i said uh, before another important um, topic or uh, the future is like multiples small multiples if you remember the small multiples when you have a visual that will be when you add uh, some category in the small multiples you will find the uh, same visual splitted across that category values similar feature has been introduced for the uh, small i mean uh, the new card visual as well so that is very good feature you can see you can customize it now it will look like that uh, you have a two measures your sales and sales count and if you add um, small multiples by territory for each territory you can split and see the values the look and feel will be enhanced right now this is good one and the new visual textilizer as usual uh, this is in the preview in order to enable you go to the preview option using this uh, path like options preview features and textilizer what it is it will does is it will act like a filter you can start typing it it will filter the entire record because now the name right 
the customer name or whatever name you put in here you start typing b that will the, uh, immediately filter wherever the b appears here if you see here uh, then it is not only uh, text uh, starts with it also contains right the the text is in between then it also be filtered I hope there will be some option to customize only the start with or end with or um, in um, whatever. Uh, let's try to check it out once I explore it in a separate video. And that's it. And next is all about um, uh, the cast. If you can see there is announcement related to a Power BI Pro license. Uh, how much it's going to increase from $10 it will be increased to $14 and from twenty dollars per power premium per user from twenty dollars twenty four dollars so each uh, category increased by four dollars that is the uh, story behind a pricing increase uh, most of the these licenses are used by um, msme industries or small scale uh, companies if you are not using um, more than 100 or uh, 50 plus you don't have a very big impact uh, it depends upon how effectively how many licenses you procured right now i hope uh, this will um, ha help you to understand what is happening in the power bi world if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and if you are watching this video for the very first time hit the button and press the bell icon for notification and do remember that data is your asset